Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, so for today if you've never known how to connect to my school database from a Java application, uh, this is a new era for you because today we are going to cover it in a very a step by step manner. Okay, so the first thing that you can see, I've already created a WAMP, in my WAMP server I've already created a database, you can see here I have the students DB, then I have a table known as first years, it has a couple of data but these are not important in today's tutorial so this is my database known as students db okay so uh the first thing that i need you to do please google my school connector or just go to my school website at their downloads and then check my school connector here you can see i have my school connector odbc a uh, 5.3.4 win32 it's a win windows installer file that's what most probably you'll find okay so uh, what should we do just install it right click okay just come install it up to the finish okay just install it then after installing it uh, you go to C go to your C then program files okay C program files then you'll find a folder there known as MySQL inside the MySQL folder you'll find the some of these folders then if you open a uh, mysql connector j mysql connector j okay this is the connector for java inside it you'll find this uh, jar file you can see it right here okay so you can drag it to your desktop i've already dragged it over there so this is what we shall include in our application so uh, after that one you come to your eclipse project uh, i've already created my project okay here it is then uh it is this test class okay it is an empty project so what i shall do uh come right click the project create a new folder i'll call my folder lib now it is inside this folder that we're going to include our jar here is my the folder then i'll just drag my jar from desktop and include it in the folder then it shall copy you can see it over here okay right now we've included it but we've not yet registered it to register right click your project go to properties now in the properties go to java build path then libraries then click add just okay now come to your project go to the lib folder click uh, my SQL connector click ok ok then uh, it will have been uh, added to your project okay so right now though it's an empty if i run um, it's already included in my project so the next thing that we're going to do we're now going to the code part uh, the first thing that we shall need to do uh, i shall create a method that is responsible for connection So I shall say a uh, private void connect. I'll just call it connect. Right now, that is our method known as connect. Uh, the first thing uh, I shall come and say we shall use it in a. Uh, I shall create a try catch block. So I'll come over there say catch. Just to capture any exception because you know with the database connections anything can happen. The server may be down or the database may have been deleted or something like that. So I'll say e dot print structures. After that one inside my catch block I'll say class okay no class dot for name then I'll type over there uh, com dot my SQL dot JDBC dot driver okay then I'll come and say uh, just up here I'll create a connection connection object 
Now it is this connection object that we shall use to connect. So I'll say connection con equals to null just to initialize it. Then I import it over there. Now I'll come and say con con is equal to driver manager dot get connection okay now uh, inside uh, there I'll type JDBC JDBC okay then colon then my square then colon then a local host okay remember uh, I have my MySQL server running right now then local host then the database name my database is known as students db make sure please you get it right students db then uh i'll just add the plus over the and come over down here now uh for our database i will also include the user so i'll say user equals to root by the root is normally the default user in my SQL uh, database so if you have your custom user probably you've created your name as the user you can just include it over there for your database but normally uh, if you've not done so just include root it's normally the default one so root and password equals to null password i'll just leave it that way it's empty okay now that's uh, how i'll just add a plus sign over here yeah i think it's right okay then after that one uh, now we shall come and connect so say if con is not equal to null system dot out dot print ln I'll just say uh, successfully connected to my SQL okay now what I shall do uh, we also want to retrieve something from my SQL I just want to retrieve uh, probably the database version uh, the my SQL version I mean so I'll just come and say I'll just use the con object that we created just say con dot get metadata okay then uh, we shall say con dot get metadata dot get uh, database product version okay I hope you can see it clearly so okay, con dot get metadata dot get uh, database product version that will give us uh, the MySQL version okay so uh, what we're going to do next yeah we've already co connected now once we've connected of course uh, we shall want to close to free up the resources also so for closing uh, we shall do sh we shall say try I'll just include my catch block over there catch then SQL exception then uh, we shall display the SQL exception I shall say E dot print stack trace okay I think I have an error somewhere here remove catch close okay let's just proceed so we shall say if to close we, sh we shall say if con 
that is if the connection object is not equal to null then a con dot close okay so uh, that way you think everything is fine now what we need to do uh, remember this is just a method that we created outside our main method but you know to execute it we have to come and include it in our main method so uh, the first thing th what we sh the thing that we shall do uh, I'll just say I'll just create the test object as just say test t is equal to new test you always remember this is a static uh, method so we we have to use an object so say t dot uh, connect okay now let's run our project and see okay you can see successfully connected to mysql uh, version mysql version 5.6 so you can see we've not only connected but we've also retrieved okay but this is today's tutorial was mainly to show you how to configure and to connect so please if you have we've learned something uh, you can proceed to the next tutorials we're also going to discuss about inserting and retrieval and everything please subscribe to this channel like this video comment on this video share it with friends and family and please take care see you next time